when I came to Little Rock, I wanted to, uh, you know, look for a business to uh, buy or start up or be, join in as a partner. And I was kind of predisposed towards something in manufacturing or fabricating. That was just kind of my interest. And I had made an offer on a uh, on a small fabricating business. I thought I'd like to operate and. Uh, but while I was waiting for kind of a reply on my offer, I went down and uh, uh, went to Community Bakery and asked to speak to the owner and asked if we could rent the facilities after hours to uh, bake desserts for a coffee house that some friends wanted to uh, start. You know, the one with the New York Times and the bagels. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you know, she told me her name was Agnes Bargle. Now, she she was the... Uh, second owner of the bakery, Ralph Henson. She was Ralph Henson, the original uh, person who started Community Bakery. She was Ralph Henson's uh, uh, head decorator, and he sold it to her in, uh, oh, the mid-70s, 76, 77, thereabouts. So here I am in 83, and I uh, go in and uh, and talked to her and she told me, uh, well, there wasn't really any after hours when they weren't there. <laughs> and I thought that was just a put off, but she, uh, I learned later, she was telling the truth. <laughs> they were baking back there. Yeah. <laughs> well, not just baking. She, uh, that's a story in itself. I might get to that in a second. But anyway, she, uh, she said, uh, what do you want to do? And I told her we just, you know, how we wanted to bake desserts because we had a spot in mind where we wanted to do this coffee house, but the fire regs wouldn't let any uh, cooking happen on premises. So we needed an offsite place to uh, to bake. And she said, well, that won't really work, but why don't you just buy the bakery from me? And I said, well, I didn't really have that in mind, but I didn't say no. And I went away. And when the other uh, deal didn't work out, I came back and Agnes and I worked out something. Thing and uh, uh, and I ended up buying it. I'll just make one reference to Agnes and her stamina. Although, if any of her relatives are listening, they probably uh, shoot me for telling this story. But <laughs> oh, good! That's so, my favorite kind of stories. <laughs> so, so Agnes would, uh, you know, when I bought the bakery, it was a pretty thin operation. There were only seven employees, and three of them were bakers, two of them were decorators, and two of them worked the front counter, one in the morning, one in the afternoon, and that was it. But anyway, Agnes, you know, the second decorator, was her daughter, but. Agnes on the weekends was so busy decorating cakes that she would on Friday night, she might work, you know, until uh, at, way after closing. The bakery closed at six o'clock in the evening at that time. But she'd wait, work until uh, uh, 10 o'clock and she'd go. Uh, she had a cot in the business in a. Uh, closet under a stairwell. I was afraid and, you were going to say that. And she'd go in there and she'd get four or five, three, a couple hours of sleep before she would then let her bakers in at 2.30 in the morning to come uh -huh. in and start baking cake all over again. So she really was there around the clock sometimes. That's a that's a different kind of mentality than we have today. She, she as I say, she had more stamina. She had more commitment. She was the hardest working person I've ever run into. Well, it is an abs. People don't, I don't think some people realize what a how lucky we are that we can work anywhere, anytime we want to, because people are like, oh, I've got to go to work. And it's like, really, you should be like, oh, boy, I'm so glad I live in a country where I can work at any job I want to work at. Yeah. Well, my mm -hmm. aunt lived under the stairs in my grandmother's house. She was a school teacher. I don't think that was as, um, you know, it was, it was probably, she was probably from the Depression era. Yeah. Yeah, that's, 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 that's a great that, story. That, that's, a, that's a committed teacher, though. <laughs> it's like Harry Potter. Yeah. If you like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking on the picture in the center of the screen. For more at Carrie's interviews, click either video on the right of the screen. And as always, thank you for watching.